Welcome back to my channel. Have you ever noticed that if you slice an apple, it's gonna turn brown after some time? This is actually a chemical reaction. In this experiment, we are going to learn how the oxygen in the air around us reacts with the apple in order to produce that brown color. Are you ready for the experiment? Let's go! When an apple is cut, oxygen is introduced into the plant's tissue and a chemical reaction called oxidation occurs. Apples contain an enzyme called polyphenol oxidase. When this enzyme comes in contact with oxygen, it turns colorless compounds into a brown pigment called melanin. Now, what is the best way to keep apples from turning brown? In this experiment, I tried different solutions to keep the apples from turning brown. So for this experiment, we'll be using apples, a measuring cylinder for water, vinegar solution, baking soda solution, lemon juice, We'll also use a sugar solution, a salt solution, and I also got some soda and tap water. And we will leave one of the cups empty for our control. To start, I'm going to pour 50 milliliters of water into each cup. Next, add half a teaspoon of each of this into the water in order to make the solution. After that, Slice some apples and put them immediately into the solutions. Make sure the liquids cover the white parts of the apple. And also, don't forget to leave one piece of apple out of the liquid as the control variable.
After 10 minutes, take the apple slices out of the solutions and place them on a flat surface and then observe the color changes when exposed to air. After two hours, I observed that the apple slice dipped in vinegar was turning brown much faster than the others. The apple slice dipped in baking soda and lemon juice were also changing color, but not as rapid as that soaked in vinegar. Interestingly, vinegar seemed to have accelerated the browning process instead of slowing it down. When it comes to preventing an apple slice from browning, the winner is salt water. I also squished the apple slices to feel the difference in their structures. And yes, I wasn't disappointed. Each slice had a different texture depending on the solution in which it was placed. Yes, I could comfortably say that the apple slice from the salt solution shows the best result. Even after standing in the air for 5 hours, it still looks so fresh and good. Alright guys, if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also remember to subscribe to my channel and come back for more fun videos with me. Bye-bye.